So Jack was born with bilateral fibular hemimelia, which is the absence of the small bones in the lower legs. I was shocked. I never heard of it, but our perinatologist had seen it once before in her practice and told us about a paralympian that had had it and was able to tell us that he would either be in a wheelchair or have prosthetic legs. So Jack's the lone survivor of a triplet pregnancy. Uh, we lost one of the children in utero and his brother Liam was born with a congenital heart defect. He uh, passed away on September 26th and well, he's probably my guardian angel. We didn't have a lot of information when Jack was diagnosed, so we had to do some research and it wasn't the same resources that we had now with the internet and Facebook and social media. So we reached out to one of the parents of a Paralympic swimmer, her name was Jessica Long, and she was very helpful and discussed with us kind of the ins and outs of his condition and in essence put us at peace with the decision that we made for amputation. Jack crawled, he walked before his surgery around furniture on his um, three toes and his feet hung at an angle, but he still walked. So he was a very active child, you know, you wouldn't expect anything different for a child of that age and we didn't know what to expect when he was born and so he really uh, calmed our fears. So he was in a body cast from the waist down for eight weeks. Um, once that came off, the night actually that the cast came off, he climbed the steps um, on the stumps. <laughs> so we knew nothing was going to stop him. He got his legs, his first legs in November, and he walked by Christmas. What do you want? Get. Go. Good boy. I probably noticed that I was different in preschool because all the other kids' legs didn't look at the same as mine. Right now I'm doing swimming, cross country, track, and soccer. Get him, get him, get him, Jack. Good job. My parents don't treat us different. We're the same, except one of us needs to put his legs on every day. Caitlin started playing soccer when she was about four years old, and we wanted to get Jack involved with sports. Uh, he just had a natural inclination, so we got him involved with soccer when he was four years old. Really, the only concerns that we had putting him in sports was that, you know, maybe a leg flying off. Good job. Get up, Jack! Oh, he lost a leg. Most kids don't know that Jack has prosthetics because you wear the soccer socks. People will notice that he has like a C curve in the back of his leg. I think his shin guard's on backwards. People are amazed that he even has prosthetic on. Well, the first time I saw him was at a practice. I didn't even know he had prosthetic legs until like the last practice when I noticed there was like a screw in what I thought was his leg. Challenge Athletes Foundation uh, helped us pay for prosthetic running legs, but he's been running, feels like ever since he got his legs. And uh, I mean, his, his practice spot was our driveway because him and Caitlin used to race down it all the time. So two years ago, Jack competed in the Endeavor Games in Oklahoma. He was able to race in kids in his classification because here he plays able body sports. So to be able to race against kids like him, he really enjoyed it, meeting kids that had prosthetics. The following year we went to Endeavor and then we also, he qualified for junior nationals. He has some national records in USA track and field in his classification. When I broke the records, I felt excited and honored and I felt like I pushed the boundaries and actually got better than I believed I could. And it really is a gift that I can run this good. My ultimate goal was to someday be in the Paralympics. We do a lot of work with Challenge Athletes Foundation. So we went to a meeting with Philadelphia Insurance and met up with a couple people that run kids triathlons. And so they invited us to come out, try them out, and see what they see if they like them. So uh, Jack's first experience was in an able-bodied uh, children's triathlon in New Jersey. 
he really liked it. Uh, so we went up to Westchester, New York, and he ran in the Westchester Tri just this past year. The first time I competed in the Paralympics, it felt like I was normal. It felt like I was actually with people that knew how I felt. Jack is in fifth grade. He is not only a good athlete, he's also a very good student. He loves history, loves science, and uh, loves hanging out with his friends. He's always very nice. You need a friend like that. He's really kind, never mean to you. He always has your back when you're like sad or something. He'll always cheer you up. He has like a really good conscience. Like he never does bad stuff. He's a really good friend. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I want to try to be like everyone else and stay in the sports that everyone else does. Jack, um, he amazes me. My brother is definitely an inspiration. He always keeps up. He's really funny. He's fun to play games with and sports. Competitive. A good friend. And a great brother. Well, when Jack runs, everybody always comments. Jack always has a smile on his face. He has this personality that is just an amazing outlook on life. The thing that makes me most proud as a parent is he's just a good kid. Uh, he's a great teammate. He really helps out. He helps out the coaches. He helps out the other players. Uh, he cheers them on. He doesn't criticize. He doesn't complain. And he's just an all-around good kid. I sort of want them to know that no matter how far you go, you can always go farther. I used to wonder if he'd be able to walk. And now our joke is I, I wouldn't be surprised if we could fly. <laughs>